Before I say anything else, I have to say it isn't nice to judge. Every state is both beautiful and ugly in its own way. Take California, for example. On the one hand, you have Yosemite and Big Sur, but on the other hand, well, you have Skid Row and Stockton. To be completely honest with you, this was one of the hardest lists I've ever made because I really love the nature in so many states. But the West really is best when it comes to beautiful and unique scenery. And while there is a lot of charm to the small towns and wooded habitats there, it just doesn't compare to the majestic vistas and untouched wilderness found in the West. But don't worry, there are some eastern states on the list too. It does have a special place in my heart after all. Anyways, I rank the states by their natural landmarks, national and state parks, eco-diversity, and accessibility to nature. Forget about good jobs or city amenities. I mean, who cares about money when you're surrounded by this? Probably goes without saying, but this video isn't for the the material girls. So here's to you fellow nature lovers, and if you aren't a nature lover, well, keep watching to see why you should be. Cause these are the top 10 most beautiful states in America. Number 10, Maine. I know you're probably thinking, what? That doesn't look like Maine. Well, that's cause it isn't. It honestly was really hard to choose which state to put at number 10, so I'm starting the list off with an honorable mention. South Dakota. Wait, what? South Dakota? Yeah, it might come as a surprise if you've never been here, but that's because it's incredibly underrated. I was blown away on my first visit, and not just cause the wind cave. From natural grasslands to the badlands to Sparefish Canyon and Custer State park to the Black Hills, which are a heck of a lot more than just four dead guys' faces on a rock. The diversity of nature in the Mount Rushmore state is mind-boggling. I seriously have no clue why it's one of the least visited states in the country. But enough with my South Dakota obsession. Actual number 10 is Maine. You might not have given the Pine Tree State much thought if you live outside of New England, but as a New Englander myself, my family would take trips up here almost every summer. And let me tell ya, it is beautiful. Outside the Portland metro area, no, not the one in Oregon, the state is pretty much just untouched, gorgeous nature and really cute charming small towns, which means there are endless opportunities for adventure, whether you want to hike, ski, swim, kayak, hunt, or fish. And if you're lucky, or maybe unlucky if you get too close, you might even see a moose. Maine's honestly one of the best kept secrets on the East Coast. From jutting cliffs to stunning beaches, if you include all the islands, Maine actually has more miles of coastline than even California. And speaking of islands, have you seen Mount Desert Island? It's home to Acadia National Park which is pretty much the crown jewel of Maine. There really is no other place in America quite like it. Number nine. Michigan. Now this might be surprising too, but Michigan's actually another state with more coastline than California. Granted, it's just surrounded by really big lakes, but they're so big that it almost feels like the ocean. You may have heard of the famously old-fashioned Mackinac Island, where cars are forbidden and horses and buggies transport you back in time around the Victorian town, but have you heard of Isle Royale National Park? The 400 Island Archipelago is actually the least visited national park in the contiguous United States, mainly because because the only way to get there is a three hour long ferry. But if you make the trip, or honestly just go anywhere in the Upper Peninsula, the wildlife and scenery you encounter will literally feel like a movie. And let's not forget the multicolored Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, the isolated hilly beaches at Sleeping Bear Dunes, and Headlands International Dark Sky Park, which is one of the best places to see the stars, and if you're lucky, the Northern Lights. I could go on and on about the beauty of Michigan. I mean, there are freaking ice caves and a rock jutting out of the water that looks like a turnip. Number eight. Oregon. When you think of Oregon, you probably just think of hipsters in Portland, or maybe something like this or this. But the Beaver State has pretty much every type of biome imaginable. You probably didn't know this was in Oregon or this. The ecosystems here are seriously so dang diverse that each region feels like its own country. From beautiful beaches bordered by sinkholes, sand dunes, and giant rock islands, to lush national forests teeming with literally thousands of streams and waterfalls, to charming artsy towns 
towns like Ashland, Bend, and Hood River, the entire state just feels enchanted. The Cascade Range also runs through the middle of Oregon and is home to some of the most beautiful mountains in the country and Crater Lake National Park, which is literally a giant blue lake at the top of a volcanic crater. It's honestly one of the most unique and gorgeous settings I've ever seen. And I haven't even mentioned the eastern half of the state with places like the Painted Hills and Owyhee Canyon lands that you'll swear must be photoshopped. Oh, and there's also Hell's Canyon, aka the deepest gorge in North America with a nearly 8,000 foot vertical drop into the Snake River. Needless to say, there's a lot more to Oregon than just Portland. Number seven. Colorado. Denver might be overrated, but there's a reason why so many people are moving to or at least vacationing in the Centennial State. Take a drive on I-70 and you'll see why. Every curve of the interstate reveals a breathtaking view of the Rockies before following the Eagle and Colorado Rivers through the canyons into a landscape that looks like Mars. And this is honestly the least scenic route. The mountains are just gorgeous all around with 58 peaks exceeding 14,000 feet. By far the most of any state. In fact, there are only four states in the country that even have one 14,000 footer. But while the front range is magical, Colorado is so much more than just a beautiful mountainous region full of world-class ski resorts and hikes. Head to the southwest near Durango and you'll find some of the most well-preserved Native American pueblos at Mesa Verde National Park. Or you can head to Colorado Springs to find some of the most beautiful red rock formations at Garden of the Gods. And Colorado's also home to the tallest sand dunes in North America. This state is honestly so diverse that even if you spent your entire life here, it still wouldn't be long enough to explore all the unique environments the area has to offer. Number six. Washington. Seattle and rain are probably the first two words that come to mind when you think of Washington. But this state is so much more. Don't get me wrong, on the days where it isn't misty and rainy and you can actually see, Seattle's one of the most picturesque cities in the world. But the constant rain kinda is what makes the evergreen state stay, well, evergreen. Speaking of evergreen, North Cascades National Park might be one of the most beautiful places on Earth. I mean, have you seen Mount Shooksen? Well, probably not, because it's also one of the least visited national parks, which is weird since it's only a two-hour drive from Seattle. But even closer to Seattle are the majestic Olympic Mountains, and even closer is Mount Rainier, which is the most prominent peak in the continental United States, and also an active volcano. But hey, I'm not here to judge Seattleites' life decisions. It really was hard to choose which Pacific Northwest state to put higher on this list, but while Oregon is very geographically diverse, Washington is even more diverse. The Evergreen State is home to 63 different mountain ranges, the largest expanse of temperate rainforest in the U.S., tons of waterfalls, rivers, lakes, and ecologically unique islands, the Columbia River Gorge and the Scablands, the Palouse Hills, and charming mountain towns like Leavenworth. You know, maybe it is worth living under an active volcano to be near all that. Number five. Utah. From the Rocky Mountains to Desert Canyons, it isn't hard to see why Utah has the third most national parks in the country. You've probably heard of Zion and Arches. And no, that's not the moon. That's just Canyonlands National Park. There's also Bryce Canyon and Capitol Reef National Park and a boatload of national monuments and forests, which are equally as impressive. As you can see, Utah shares a lot of similarities with Colorado and Arizona, but also has a lot of uniquely Utah things too. And I'm not talking about Friday. Sauce. Besides the national parks, there are 43 state parks, and no, I'm not about to list them all, but just look at how pretty they are. The coolest thing about Utah, in my opinion, though, is that most of the nature is completely untouched, and aside from the super popular national parks and ski resorts like Zion and Park City, it's almost never overcrowded with tourists. If it had a coastline, Utah would probably be number one on this list, but it doesn't, and before you say, hey, what about the Great Salt Lake? Nobody actually likes how the Great Salt Lake looks, or smells for that matter. Number four. California. I know a lot of you are probably wondering, why isn't California number one? I mean, it is the most geographically diverse state in the country by far, housing nearly every type of climate zone in the world. But the one thing keeping it out of even the top three on my list is just all the overcrowding and pollution. Even though most of the national parks are four to five hours out of the cities, there are still so many people. Sure, there are a few secret spots where you can find some peace and quiet, but if you aren't a local and 
don't know what you're doing, you're never going to find them. What you will find is 3,400 miles of pristine coastline and some of the best beaches in the world. To the south, you have La Jolla and Laguna, but more north, there's also Carmel, Moonstone Beach, Bowling Ball Beach, and the incredible Big Sur. But actually, don't go there because the locals do everything they can to hide the best spots from tourists. So why don't you head on over to one of the nine national parks or over 300 state parks instead, both numbers being the most of any state. Try Yosemite, the Redwoods, or even Death Valley. Seriously, I cannot state this enough. Almost every type of scenery imaginable is here. The problem is that people litter and their pollution is destroying the environment and not nearly enough funds are being allocated to protect it. But what can I say? It's not like money grows on trees. And even if it did, California would have probably burned through it by now. Pun intended. Number three. Hawaii. Hawaii is by far the smallest state on this list, so I guess it goes to show that size doesn't matter. Because what the Aloha State lacks in size, it makes up for in sheer beauty. There really isn't a single part of the islands that isn't jaw-droppingly gorgeous. Each of the seven inhabited islands is entirely different in its own way, but some notable views are the Nepali Coast and Waimea Canyon on Kauai, the Bamboo Forest, Honokohau Falls, and the Road to Hana on Maui, the Sea Cliffs of Molokai, Kai Beach and the Cocoa Head Crater on Oahu, and Mauna Kea and Volcanic National Park on Big Island. In fact, the Big Island alone has 11 of the world's 13 climate zones. From the history to the culture to the waterfalls, volcanoes, hiking, and world-class snorkeling and surfing, Hawaii is one of the most unique and diverse states in the country. Not to mention the nearly perfect weather with tropical temperatures and 270 sunny days a year. Number two. Montana. In contrast to the last two states, Montana has exactly zero miles of coastline. So how the heck did it make it so high on this list? If you're seriously asking that question, you need to visit the Big Sky State, where, yes, the sky really does seem bigger. We all know Colorado is the Rocky Mountain state, but honestly, the Rockies in Montana remain unparalleled. The mountains loom majestically over vast and colorful valleys dotted by the lakes, rivers, and wildlife that run through them. A trip to Yellowstone will leave you bewildered by the power of nature, but the lesser known Glacier National Park is actually, in my opinion, the most beautiful national park in America. And in the eastern half of the state, you have a complete contrast with places like Makoshika State Park with its badlands and dinosaur fossils. There are actually 55 state parks in the state, including the Lewis and Clark Caverns, Slathead Lake, Palisade and Kootenai Falls, and Bighorn Canyon. But honestly, the entire state could be a national Park. Drive through just about anywhere here, and you'll have a hard time finding a view that doesn't look like a painting, even in the urban areas like Missoula or Bozeman. And on a clear night, you might even see the northern lights. Now, before we get to number one, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think the most beautiful state is. But without further ado, number one. Alaska. Speaking of the Northern Lights, could number one really be anything but? Alaska is more grand, vast, and untamed than any other state. And it's not even close. It even has more coastline than every other state combined. And that coast varies widely from the volcanic Aleutian Islands to glacier-lined black sand beaches to craggy cliffs to forested fjords. Sure, it does get really cold in some parts, but there is a heck of a lot more to Alaska than just just snow-capped mountains. The last frontier is home to eight national parks, each featuring incredibly different landscapes, ranging from Denali, home of the tallest mountain in North America, to Kenai Fjords, Gates of the Arctic, Glacier Bay, and Wrangell St. Elias, which is actually the largest national park in the nation. And while there are also 156 state parks to boot, Alaska's still the least visited state in the U.S., which might be due to the fact that there aren't many roads leading to the parks. You'll actually have to charter a plane to get to to most of them. But that's also why the population density is just one person per square mile. So there are literally thousands of miles of untouched unique wilderness, and you're probably more likely to run into a bear, moose, or musk ox than another person in the nature here. Where else can you find over half the world's glaciers, fjords all along the coast, rainforests, volcanoes, the 10 tallest mountains in the country, and even sand dunes? Alaska is by far the most beautiful state in America. Yeah.